Hi friends. Welcome to Speedify.tech. In this video, I'll show you how to automate Let's Encrypt free SSL certificate in cPanel shared hosting. We have the PHP client free SSL .tech Auto. This app uses Let's Encrypt API to issue free SSL certificates. It completely automates the processes. This app automatically installs the SSL certificate if your cPanel has SSL certificate installation feature turned on. It perfectly works with shared hosting. Free SSL .tech Auto client or app is free of cost. Let's Encrypt SSL is free. So you don't need to spend a single penny to set up the automated process. You only need to spend a few minutes, let's say 15 minutes to install and configure the app. For this video, I have temporarily uninstalled the SSL certificate from the Speedify.tech website. Let's visit our website Speedify.tech with usual HTTP protocol. You see Google Chrome is showing it is not secure. Now go to the contact page and start typing. Google Chrome released version 70 on October 16, 2018. It is marking all the HTTP websites as not secure with bright red color if the user starts typing in an input field. Now, let's try to access our website speedify.tech with HTTPS protocol. We got this error. Because Speedify.tech does not has an SSL certificate installed. We can't use HTTPS protocol without an SSL certificate. So, let's go to the free SSL.tech website. Scroll down a little. Click the Download Now button. You see two options to download the app. If you are comfortable installing with the Composer, please use the first option. Here, you get a GitHub link, click this link and download the app from GitHub. Then upload the zip archive to your web hosting and install with the Composer. Then you need to run the installation script with a web browser. However, if you don't have experience with the Composer or you don't know what the Composer is, please use the second option instead. In this video, we are using the second option. Click this link. Now the app is downloaded. It's only 2.71 MB. This zip archive comes with all the dependencies pre-installed. Now, let's upload the downloaded zip archive to your web hosting server. Log in to your cPanel. Click the File Manager option in the Files group. Browse to the document root of your domain name, on which you'll install the free SSL.tech auto app. Click the Upload option. Open the folder where you downloaded the zip archive and drag the file to the upload page. The upload process gets complete. Now click the Go Back To link. You see the uploaded zip archive here. Right click on it. Click on Extract. Click Extract Files button. The extraction completes. Click Close. This is the app directory. I recommend renaming this directory. Right click on it. Click Rename. Type the new directory name. In this example, we are typing my cert. However, please type a different name. The Click Rename File button. Here is the renamed directory. Now double click the My Cert directory. These are the app files. Now open a new tab. Type your domain name, then give a slash and type your app directory name. Hit enter. You see the free SSL.tech auto app installation page. However, we got a warning text. Because this installation page is not protected with HTTPS and we are going to provide password over an unencrypted connection. So the app provides us an option to generate an SSL certificate for the current domain with a single click. 
Then we'll install the SSL certificate on this domain and access this installation page over HTTPS. You may ask me if we can get the SSL certificate even before installing the app, why should we install it? Because our goal is to automate all the processes, including the SSL certificate installation. Let's encrypt SSL as valid for 90 days. Can you imagine the amount of a headache you are inviting if you are thinking to manage all the future renewal processes manually? If you have 10 other websites, imagine the stress on you. So let's click the large button. We got this tiny form. Type your email id. Click both the checkboxes. Now click the create SSL button. If you have time, I recommend you read the Let's Encrypt subscriber agreement, free SSL.tech terms of service and privacy policy. We have got the SSL certificate in seconds. Here is the location of the SSL certificate, private key and CA bundle. As a best practice never download these. The app has sent us an automated email too. This email also has the SSL certificate path details. Copy the path. Now we'll install the SSL certificate on our domain. Go back to the cPanel file manager. Paste the copied path here and click Go. Yes, these are the SSL certificate files. Right-click on the certificate.pem file. Select View or Edit. The certificate file opens in a new window. Select all the text from Begin Certificate to End Certificate. Copy it. Close the window. Now go to your cPanel home page. In the search box, type SSL. Click the SSL TLS option in the security group. Click Manage SSL Sites. Select your domain. Paste the copied text in the certificate field. You see the SSL certificate details auto filled here. Now go to the File Manager tab. Right-click on the private.pem file. Select View or Edit. The private key file opens in a new window. Select all the text from Begin Private Key to End Private Key. Copy it. Now go to the Manage SSL Hosts page. Paste the copied text in the private key field. Go to the File Manager tab again. Right-click on the CA Bundle.pem file. Select View or Edit. The CA bundle file opens in a new window. Select all the text from Begin Certificate to End Certificate. Copy it. Now go to the Manage SSL Hosts page. Paste the copied text in the Certificate Authority Bundle field. In this example cPanel, there is no checkbox called Enable SNI for Mail Services. However, your cPanel may have this option. Like this. Be sure to check it. Then click the Install Certificate button. It takes a few seconds. Now we have got the confirmation window. Click OK. Now the installed SSL is listed in the Manage Installed SSL Websites section. Now we reload the Speedify.tech website with HTTPS. Yes. We got it. Click the green padlock. Select Certificate. Now we see the certificate details. Go back to the free SSL.tech auto app installation page. Prepend HTTPS with the URL. Hit enter. Now the security warning disappears. So we can continue the app installation safely. As we see, we need to provide the database information here. Let's create the database and user first. Go to the cPanel home page. Click MySQL Databases option in the Databases group. Now we'll create the database with the Create New Database option. In the New Database field type a database name as per your wish. Click Create Database button. This is the confirmation. Copy the complete database name. Now go to the App Installation page. Paste the database name in Database Name field. Go back to the cPanel page. 
Click Go Back. Scroll down the page. We are now going to create the database user with the Add New User form. Type a username. Click the Password Generator button. An 18 characters password length is better than the default length. Click Generate Password. Now copy the generated password. Click this checkbox. Click Use Password. Click Create User. This is the confirmation. Now go to the app installation page and paste the copied password. Click the C panel tab. Copy the database username. Go to the app installation page and paste the copied database username. Don't click the submit button now. It will throw an error. Because we have to link the user with the database first. So again, go to the C panel page. Click go back. Scroll down to the Add User to Database section. Choose the user and database. Click the Add button. Click All Privileges checkbox. This single click selects all the privilege checkboxes. Now click Make Changes button. Here is the confirmation message. Click Go Back. We see the linked user here. Click the App Installation tab. Now we can click the Submit button. So we have completed the first step of the app installation. This page is the second step. Type your email id. You'll use this email to log in the app. Type a password. Re-type the password. Click the Submit button. Yes. We have successfully installed the app. Click this button to log in. This is our login page. Before login, I am showing you the password reset link. Here it is. You can use it if you forget your password. Now type the login email and password. Click the login button. Yes. This is the dashboard. Initially, we get only one option, that is basic settings. The app displays other options based on the information we provide with basic settings. The dashboard options are also available in the left sidebar. These are profile options. Profile options are also available here. So click the basic settings option. This is basic settings page. We set the Let's Encrypt ACME API version with this field. We recommend using version 2. In this tutorial, we are not using Wildcard SSL. In the next video, we'll show how to issue and automate free Wildcard SSL certificate. We'll issue real SSL certificates. So leave this option as us. However, you may test with staging SSL first, if you wish. But it is not required. Please keep in mind, cPanel API doesn't allow installing staging SSL. The email ID is auto-filled as per the admin profile. Now select your country. Write state. Write an organization, if any. Write the home directory of your server. You'll find the home directory in your cPanel. This is the home directory of this server. Now. Provide the certificate directory name. This can be anything of your choice. Don't include a slash before or after. The certificate directory will be kept secured in the home directory of your web hosting server. How many days before the expiry date do you want to renew the SSL certificate? You may change the default value. Is your web hosting control panel cPanel? IP v4 address of this server. The app tries to get this value automatically. However, we recommend you cross-check the pre-filled value with your cPanel. If you are using Cloudflare or any other CDN select yes. Select no otherwise. Choose the key size of the SSL certificates as per your wish. 
If you are not in a hurry, please read the Let's Encrypt subscriber agreement. Then click this checkbox. Please read the free SSL.Tech Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Click this checkbox too. Now, click the Save button. We have saved the basic settings successfully. The app has redirected us to the cPanel settings page. Let's provide our cPanel details. Go back to your cPanel. This is the cPanel login URL. Copy it. Go to the app admin page. Paste the cPanel login URL here. Go to the cPanel again. Copy the cPanel username. Paste it here. Provide the password of your cPanel. Re-type the cPanel password. Click the Save button. We have got the confirmation message. You see more options now available on the dashboard. Let's click on the Exclude Domains option. This is optional, of course. This option lists all the domains, add-on domains, and sub-domains from your cPanel. If you want SSL certificate for all of them, please skip this setting. Now, click the Add Cron Job option. At first, I am showing you this cPanel has no cron job entry for the app. We have no cron job. This is the path of the cron file. Type your email ID if you want to receive a notification email every time the cron job runs. Now click this large button. So, we have added the cron job successfully. Here it is. We have done every required step to automate free SSL certificate. Now I am going to demonstrate the automation. For that purpose, I am uninstalling the SSL certificate installed on Speedify.tech. Now reload the Speedify.tech website. We got the warning. Open a new tab. Open the subdomain over HTTPS. We got the same warning. I have changed the timing of the cron job for the demonstration. However, you don't require to do this. Let's see what happens. Yes. The app has issued an installed SSL certificate on Speedify.tech and the subdomain. This is the path of the SSL certificate file. However, we don't need to do anything further. This is the cron log. This is the confirmation. The SSL certificates are listed in cPanel. Now, reload the Speedify.tech website. We see the installed SSL is working correctly. Reload the sub-domain. So, friends, you see how to automate free SSL certificate in cPanel shared hosting. If you like the app, please spread the word. Please subscribe to our channel. In the next video, we'll show you how to automate free wildcard SSL certificate for your website. Hello, few more words. Don't forget to speed up your website. Because, website speed matters. Visit our website speedify.tech for more information. Thanks for watching the video.